Hello, this is Mark Schmidt with Cloud Platforms Business Unit at Red Hat. Today we'll be walking through an OpenShift 4.0 installation on AWS. First thing we'll need to do is configure a DNS zone in AWS Route 53. I've pre-configured the following domain in Route 53 and we'll just verify that with the simple dig command. Next, we'll create an admin user in AWS IAM. You will need to make sure that it has admin access privileges, and you will want to ensure that you store the AWS access key as well as the secret access key for the installation process. Next, you can download the OpenShift 4 installer by going to cloud.openshift.com backslash clusters backslash install. Uh, that will redirect you to GitHub. Uh, OpenShift installer releases. At this point, you can select the appropriate binary for your workstation OS, either Linux or Mac. Once the download is completed, then you can rename the installer and then make it executable. You'll also want to download the pull secret and save that as well, as you'll need that during the interactive OpenShift installer. Before running the install, it should be noted that if you have default settings on your AWS account for resource limits, you may want to expand your uh, Elastic IP uh, range from five, which is the default, to 10, so that you don't run into resource limitations during the install. We can now kick off the OpenShift installer with create cluster variables. You'll need to give the SS, your public SSH key. If you don't have one, SSH-keygen will generate that for you. At this point, you can enter your AWS access key as well as your secret access key from when the user was created earlier. You now can select your region and provide the DNS domain that was previously uh, determined. Um, at this point, you can select the cluster name, and then you'll need to copy the pull secret and paste that. It takes approximately 15 to 20 minutes to spin up the appropriate AWS resources to give you a three master, three worker cluster. We'll speed that up for the sake of brevity. Okay, now that the cluster is installed, you can feel free to explore the cluster via the OC command line interface or via the web console with the username kubeadmin and the password provided. To tear down the cluster, you simply issue the OpenShift install command with the destroy cluster variables, and that tears down all of the uh, associated AWS resources that uh, were originally built. 